Well, Court, this is a, you know, fairly radical custom even today. Yes. <laughs> but this car was built back in? Well, it, life as a custom started in 1958. And really, it, it took over two years to get to the stage where it was roadworthy. Uh-huh. Now, it, it's what, a 51 Chev, right? It's a 51 Chev. Hard to tell. <laughs> well, uh, the whole plan was that it could be a modified car that was designed to look as though it was always been that way in the first place. Uh-huh. It had to look right. We didn't want it to look modified. We wanted it to look as though it should have been That's built That's what that it was way. supposed to be. Absolutely. Right. That's one of the reasons why we would sit down and decide in the modifications, we weren't going to employ any of the contemporary gimmicks of a day. The Appleton spots, scoops, louvers, uh, skirts. Uh -huh. It had to look as though it was, it, it was, original, it was supposed to be. Uh, original Detroit product. Wow. wow, that's uh, pretty obsessive. <laughs> well, we, both Jock and I were concerned about something that we didn't want to look the slate was a bit gimmicky. It had to have a classic elegance. Yeah, well, it and it, uh, I mean, it shows that. So started in 58, took a couple years to get it yes. to this state or even close oh, no, to this. No, oh, no, no, well, oh, no. It was basically a custom up to the stock for an end. Okay. And gray primer. When did it get these headlights then? Oh, well, again, uh, Jack Williams, who built the car, the absolute master craftsman. He could, he could do more with metal than anybody could imagine. Hmm. And uh, we were sitting in a couple of apple boxes uh, in the shop one day. We're deciding, first of all, how are we going to change the front end uh -huh. to match up what was done with the 56 uh, Packard Clipper taillights and the other work done to the car. Came to the conclusion that 58 Lincoln quads would look, would look good. Uh -huh. And then uh, we're deciding whether it's going to be canted as the Lincoln was or vertical. Uh -huh. So eventually we tacked them in place in a couple of other ways and decided to settle that this was the, the, the best harmonious uh -huh. way. To, to it, they it they the are car. vertical. I, at first I thought there was a slight cant. There's really not, is there? Not really. It's, other than the fact there's, there's there's a left and a right shape. So if you look here, yeah. the, the, the taper is slightly different. That may be what, what makes it, you know, gives it that, oh geez, is that cant or not? I just, you exactly. Know. Yeah, they are not symmetrical. They are, uh, they're mirror images. They are. Oh, wow, mm. that's really cool. Pretty cool. So that all worked out nicely. And then, of course, the stock top of the grill bar was then blended in yeah. to the bottom to give it a, a sense of uh, form and harmony. How much of a chop do you have on well, it? Roughly four and a half inches. Actually, it's it's a blend between, say, three and three quarters and four and a half, depending upon. There's a bit more of a chop at the rear than at yeah. the front mm -hmm. to give it that, give it that flow. flow. Mm -hmm. Yes. That uh, impression of speed even sure. sitting still. Sure. You were saying earlier this was you found in working on it that this was an eastern car, so it had a lot of rust in it. Mm -hmm. yes. And this thing's got almost all new panels. Yes. All factory parts. All factory, of course. But but what was left of the original car after you did all that? The firewall, the roof, and the trunk lid. That was it. That was it. <laughs> well, those and things of course, were all, the frame. Yeah, they were all pretty far away from the salt, so they. Of course. Yeah, yes. Right. Yeah. Sure. Well, now the the interior, which. You know, this has obviously all been restored and everything. The interior yeah. has not, but is this what the interior was? Oh, no, no. This is uh, 58 Thunderbird interior seats right. in the front. The rear seats are handmade uh, out of a wooden box to give the, uh, a similar pattern in, uh -huh. in design and shape. But what did it look like when you had it? Well, originally it had the original mohair covered bench seat. Yeah. And nothing else. That was it, really, huh? Yes. Wow. Matter of fact, when we first put it on the road, there was no no interior, no headlining except for that that upholstered bench seat with uh, basically a steel cage. Wow. And was like driving a drum. <laughs> <laughs> well, then obviously you you uh, moved on to to finish the whole thing out because this thing did the car show circuit for a long time. Yes, but it, still, it wasn't finished. We never did finish the truck. Oh, uh -huh. And that's the reason why at the World's Fair Auto Show, when the judge said, this car is possibly the finest body work we've ever seen, he said, I, d I can't find any lead in it. I said, well, no, there's less than six ounces of lead in the roof. Really? And the front quarters, front fenders, uh, uh, and the rear fenders, they're all hammer welded. Oh, my gosh. When, before I put the headlining in, you could look at, this, at the roof, and there are no weld seams because Jack hammer welded everything. Yeah, like even this? Oh, yes. 
And, and the Packard, these are Packards, aren't they? Yes, 56 Packard Clipper taillights. Ooh. Where they're, the seconds join, it's as smooth inside as it is outside. Wow. Oh, and also, the, the chrome panels yeah, yeah. that you can see around here, this was fabricated. Jack Williams made up milling tools to shape and form the male and female grooves and steel panels, rolled the edges, oh, welded cow. them. In fact, that's to match the stock front panels, which are stainless steel. Wow. But once again, it had to look as though it was done by the factory. So you've had, this been many magazines and many like indoor shows from back in the day too, eh? Quite a few. Well, actually 1962, 63, the car appeared in Rod and Custom, Car Craft, and Hot Rod Magazine. And you never named this car? No. Right? Uh -huh. So I only referred to the car as 51 Chev updated. Updated. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I tell you, it's a, it's a pretty slick car with, with again, you know, uh, quite a pedigree and quite a lot of... Canadian history. Well, Court, I just think it's great that you've uh, did it in the first place and kept it alive all this time. It's a magnificent car. Dennis, thank you so much. Thank you. This is such a pleasure. Wow.